Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my ReactJS course. In this video, we will try to see about the composition in the ReactJS. The composition is nothing but what we can say is whatever the data present in between the components. So we can we can use that data in the component also. So that means just like the slots concept or the ng content concept in the current view, we can use the same concept in the ReactJS also. Let's let me try to show you one demo. For example, I am having a button here, uh, not button. I will try to do some concept that is nothing but let's assume that I am having one component something like dialogue okay dialogue this dialogue what I can have is dialogue.js so here I can write con class dialogue extends component this should opt input and here we will be having the render right so now what is so if I want to use this dialog so here I can return view dialog data or something like that. okay so dialog data or something like that return now if I want to use it in the post date post.js file how can I use this I can use something like view and I can use the dialog sorry to export default dialog export default dialog now if i want to use it here i can use directly the dialog so now if i try to see the output i am able to see it down somewhere dialog data here i am able to see the dialog data now if i want to show it this one okay how can i show this how how, how can i if i want to show some data in the dialog that means i need to pass the title here okay i need to pass the title i need to pass the description all those things I need to pass it. So instead of passing that one, we can also use something like concept like slot concept. So whatever the data you want to show it, you can show it here. Doing the dialog data like this, we can we can use it. Okay. If you want, if you want to show this content here in the dialog.js, we can directly use this view here. We are, whatever the data you have in this one you can add it and here in this down dialog data i need to show the data means for what i can use is so here i can use props dot children okay so one reserve word is there props dot children so here as this one is a class we need to use this dot props dot children okay now if i try to see the output here you will be able to see the dialog data showing the dialog data you will be able to for example, if I show it side by side, here I will be having one div. So here I will be having div. Here this one if it is of type class flex. Okay, it's of type flex one. This one is of type class name flex one. Okay also of type class name flex1 now if you try to see the output here i am able to see the data right so here what we can do is sorry for this one i can write with typhon full okay so what i can do is so here we are able to leave it this one right so what we can do is here we are able to see the dialog data showing dialog data right so now what I can do is, so what is the thing we are showing here? So, whatever the data present in between this component, we are showing it using the props.children. Okay, so this is the way we can use it. So, in the same scenario, we have a single post.js. So, in this single post.js, what is the logic we are doing? So, we are using this uh, cust uh, the method we are passing it to there, and here in the single post, we are passing the method like this, right? We can also use some something scenario like we can copy this one, go to here, instead of writing li like this, we can use this single post, okay. And here, what we can do is we can paste it here directly. So we can remove this one, okay. Uh, instead of calling this dot props and all those things, on change we can call it like this, and we can remove this title change. And here there is no need to use this props and all those things. I can use directly the post dot title that's it i think hope this one is working this is working 
so now in this single post i have used so now the data whatever the data i am writing in between the single post what i can do is here i can do something like so we have already used right so something like this dot props dot children okay so like this we can use it now if i try to see the output so the same output the same output i can be able to see here see i am able to write the same output okay so this is nothing but the composition so now in this way we can use the we can use the children so whatever the content we will be writing in between the component we can use that one we can access that one in the in the copy in the child component using props dot children so now if you go to the push dot js now you understood that in this property in this props attribute we can pass either in data that means either an object or a primitive value anything we can also pass a method and you need to remember that one thing that you can also pass a component also for example in the slots you will be having slot a slot b like this so if you want to show one slot and one other slot if you want to show so how can i show that one for example in the single post i want to show the add post for example let's suppose so now here i can write something like add post is equal to here i can i can pass the component also for example if you see here i can pass this component also so now how can i use this component in the single post here directly i can paste the div and i can use the this dot props dot add post so now if you try to see the output how how the output will see i am able to use this add post here directly okay so i am able to use this add post so now if you want to make it uh, clear means let's go to the add post where is this add post uh, here you will be having add post i am using something like w1 by 4 right so where is that width hyphen w hyphen 1 by 4 yeah we are using right so we can use with hyphen full okay i can use the hyphen full directly here and also i think here also i can use so that it will be full width yeah see so now i can use the add post so that means you need to understand that what whatever the uh, whatever the thing how, what are the props we can pass it the props we can pass it we can pass a primitive value we can pass the method function okay or we can also pass the component also you need to understand so now you can use this props dot here this props dot children the slot a and this will be of type slot b also you can use it so this is slot a slot slot b like that you can use it okay so the, like this also we can use it so this is nothing but the composition okay so this is of the composition of the component so, uh, have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you